Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. My name is Lina and you're watching the sixth episode of my Legacy Let's Play. The main thing that happened in the last episode is that the family celebrated Spooky Day. Peggy Mae and Buddy went trick-or-treating. Dwayne and Ricky went to a Halloween party that was organized by the school. And Skip and Ricky talked about moving to the city once they graduate high school. And Susie Lou had a scary movie night with Chadrick. We also gave Chadrick a house that he rents, so he lives in Riverview now. And apart from that, all of the other things that happened are not really important for the story. So that's all you need to know, I think. I have a lot of things planned for this episode, so let's just jump right into it. Today is the last day of fall. As I said in the last episode, today... The family is going to have a Thanksgiving celebration with the Broke family. And it's also the birthday of Dwayne and Peggy Mae. So it's very eventful. And tomorrow is Buddy's birthday. I actually want to celebrate the birthday of Dwayne and Peggy Mae in the cafe. So I'm going to decorate it. So let's see what we can do. I always like when there is a lot of entertainment. And here there's only two football tables. Maybe I'll delete this. Oops, not the door. <laughs> and then I can put something here. Maybe another one of these. <laughs> no, just kidding. Um... Ooh, or a domino table. That's a good one. Maybe add this and then set the intensity to dim. I think that looks great. Yeah, I actually think that's good enough. Oh, and actually um, for the Thanksgiving, I want Dolly to cook a turkey um, at the Broke's house. So she will need the inappropriate but in a good way. Um, lifetime reward because then she'll be able to use all of the items at the broke family's house without getting yelled at so we'll purchase that for her oh buddy not again this is ricky's pumpkin spooky day is over but still at least it's not lit right now so we can't catch on fire you should scold him since she just walked out and saw what happened Nibarelka. Leave. You just won't learn. Uh, did you see that? He looked very sad when he looked at her. But then once she looked away, he's looking like this. <laughs> Ooh, she looks cute. She's unlucky. I'm debating whether to randomize again, but it would kind of defeat the purpose of randomizing, so I guess we'll have to accept it. Now it's time for Dwayne. <laughs> Due to his indifferent study habits, you will not be allowed to choose a trait for Dwayne. Dwayne has developed the excitable trait. Could be worse. I want to give them makeovers now. She is so gorgeous. She also looks a lot like Ricky. I really like this on her. It's kind of like Casey's hairstyle from Atypical. She's also a very athletic character, so it's kind of fitting. I don't think I'm going with makeup for her. She's a technophobe, so I don't think she's very influenced by the beauty standards and all of the new beauty trends. Just like with the other family members though, I do want to keep her outfit pretty simple. She can be just like her mom. <laughs> I think I'm going with this shirt. And now we'll have to find some high-waisted uh, bottoms. Which is kind of <laughs> a struggle in this game. I think this is the best option. Oh, I can't forget her glasses. And I do like her, her childhood outfit. So maybe a little hint of that. In the earrings. I'm also going to do the outfits that we're going to see the most. 
So here is her sleepwear, her athletic wear, it's pretty much the same, <laughs> and her outerwear. Now it's time for Dwayne. His traits are born salesman, couch potato, excitable, flirty, and social butterfly. Oh, I didn't even... Oops. Did I go to create a sim too soon? Okay. <laughs> um, let's pick his lifetime wish. I think the bottom line is that he just wants to be rich. So let's do swimming in cash. Okay, we need to do something about this. <laughs> Can I just pick the same hairstyle that he had as a teen? I know Ari went to university, so maybe he stole her jacket. That's cute. I like that idea. And I also noticed that a lot of other teens already have degrees. So I don't know what's up there, but... Oh yeah, there they are. I really like Peggy Mae. I'm going to send everyone to the bar. And then Dolly is going to leave early because she's going to help set up the Thanksgiving dinner. And as always, I'm also going to invite over more people. I want Peggy Mae to get to know some more teens. Maybe Travis McDermott. Oh, she's actually wearing the same earrings as Peggy Mae. They seem to be really good friends, actually. They are friends. Ricky just can't help it. He has to do his homework. And Ari also. Well, Ruby is breaking it down. Why are people running? What's happening? Why is everyone- Oh! Let died. This is chaos. <laughs> oh, they just disappeared. So the brokes are probably in a terrible mood. I feel like Ricky should comfort Skip since it's his best friend. What is his family tree? What was flat to Skip? Oh, it was his father? That must be difficult. Oh, I love these two. Oh. I feel like we should give Flat a proper grave. Are there more Broke family members? Oh, here. Mary Lou Broke. And here is Bernard Broke. Bernard? Bern... Bern Bernard? Bernard? <laughs> Bernard. <laughs> I'm actually watching Plumbella Sims Iceberg video. It's such an amazing video, but I'm shocked because they actually pronounce Bernard as Bernard and English is not my first language, so I had no idea that Bernard is one way in which you could pronounce that name. So I'm sorry for laughing at it. I never heard it before, so it sounded funny. But I've actually been saying it in my head a lot, and now it doesn't sound funny anymore. So <laughs> thank you, teacher Plumbella. Wait, I'm going to look up the family tree real quick. Oh, Mary Lou is the wife of Flat's brother. I feel kind of weird putting Flat with his brother's wife. So let's put him close to Bernard. I think that looks good. Dolly <laughs> is um, in the meantime going over to the broke household. I placed these tents here. There's already some delicious looking food here. There's a pie and a cake. <laughs> And some eggs and 
the egg yolks are pumpkins. Okay, I want her to make a turkey and also a salad. I feel like everyone should wear their outerwear. It's now 6 degrees Celsius. Whoa, Ricky has Susu with him. Um, okay, so the salad goes here. Is the salad done? Where is it? Did she put it away? Can we place it down here? Oh! We can't. Oh my god. Just to make another one. But I guess we'll have some extra salad then. Ricky Fletcher just swiped someone's the Maddie Cabbie. It is now in your family inventory. Are you seriously stealing from people who just lost someone? That's... she going to grab some turkey? Yes! Oh no, what are you going to do? Oh no, everything's going wrong. I'm going to add her to the family. Where is the turkey? Okay, there it is. Now I can put it down. Oh my god, this is so frustrating. Maybe get one of those buffet tables instead of having Dolly cook. Because there's salad and a turkey on there. Oh, and also um, we haven't given Peggy Mae and Dwayne their presents yet. I actually want to give Peggy Mae another sports object. I was thinking this football. And Dwayne, he's going to move out soon. So instead of getting a present now... I want Dolly and Clint to give him money to help buy him his first house. But that's something for another episode. That's a crow. <laughs> okay, I'm going to turn free will off for just a second. I've put our family on this table and that's all I'm going to do. This was kind of a fail, to be honest. At least I feel like it looks very cozy right now. <laughs> the sound of this fire. Don't mind the crying on the background. Oh, someone needs to console Trigger because he he is having a hard time. <laughs> <laughs> that worked like magic. All of the broke family members are just doing their own thing. Going to bed, dancing, and only our family is actually celebrating Thanksgiving. Well, maybe that's a sign to go home. Okay, bye! <laughs> It's snowing! The first snow! I'm so excited. Someone is awake. Oh, it's Otis. But he is also awake. It's his birthday today and he's looking very excited. Since it's Buddy's birthday, I want to look for a present for him. And I think I want to give him a poster. I think I'm going for this one. I know it's very unrealistic, but Ricky is going to work on the car in the snow. <laughs> I also want them to get rid of the autumn decorations. And uh, decorate for Christmas. So we're going to dispose of all of these pumpkins. <laughs> Dwayne wants to move in with Ari. Is Ari already an adult? It says here that she's still in high school. But we'll wait for a few more days. I'm going to decorate for Christmas. Let's just put the pumpkins in here. Can we maybe make these dark green so it looks like they're holly? I don't know if that looks good. I think it does. And also this one. Change these ones to a winter or Christmas theme. Then we can use these. These are just paper. So they're pretty cheap. Oh no, my game. <gasps> my game crashed.
Oh no. Okay, I decorated again. I put the tree here and I also uh, put a lamp in the tree. You can see it here. Here's the lamp. And then I just put it inside the tree. So the tree glows. As you saw from before, I put these decorations here and here. And I also added a snowman on the chair. And I added some lights. These are actually ceiling lights, but I placed them as close to the wall as possible. And I also added them here. And then inside, I think I only added these decorations. Oh, Misty. And she has such a cute, funny face. <laughs> but yeah, I also reset my town. So I hope everything goes a little bit more smoothly now. And I'll pick back up when it's like 9 a.m. I think that's where I kind of crashed. Okay, it's taking a little bit longer to get everyone ready. So I'll just continue here. I also forgot this yesterday, but today... Malcolm should come over and collect rent, so I'm going to invite him over. There he is. Clint should talk to him. How's he bad? Uh -huh. Malcolm just oh, autonomously oh, yells at him. Okay, let's just give him his money and then he can leave. Give him a thousand simoleons and then we'll remove a thousand from us. Maybe I should have not uh use that many holiday decorations because now we've only have 905 simoleons let's ask him to leave and then we can celebrate buddy's birthday <laughs> because of his success in school you may choose a trait for buddy he's a social butterfly just like Dwayne. Dwayne is also a social butterfly Let's change his appearance. I don't know if I have the exact same haircut that he had as a kid. I actually do. I don't really know what kind of outfit I should give him. Maybe just a sweater? I don't like how this is so shiny. Maybe make the sweater a bit more grey. And then this a little bit more black and white. Here is his sleepwear. And here is his outerwear. Suzilu is going to give Buddy his present. Wait, where is it? Oh, I didn't buy it because my game crashed. <laughs> what a lovely gift. Thank you so much. Okay, he likes it. Now we can hang it up, I suppose. Oh my god, can we not? Is it stuck now? Then we're going to pretend that he saves it for later, I guess. I want Ricky to return that medicine cabinet. Can he still do that? Oh my god, I don't think he can. Then I think it's going to cause some conflict. Lo comes over and she is going to confront maybe Dolly because Dolly is here. And I want Peggy Mae to play with her new football. And since the winter festival isn't set up yet, I think this would be the perfect place to do it. And I want Ricky to work on the car. Oh, there's Flo. Dolly is gone, so Clint is going to talk to her. It's actually kind of convenient that Ricky is here, because now we can hear the conversation. Hey, how are you doing? Things must be pretty hard right now. Well, actually, I came here to tell you that something disappeared from our house. And Clint asks, wait, what? And now Ricky is <laughs> probably feeling stressed. He's probably sweating. She's playing catch. Oh, this, can you not play soccer inside? Because it says the snow is too deep. Why can't you just play here? Maybe play catch with Ari. Oh, what is Buddy doing? He is fighting with Anita. And now her sister comes and rescues her. Okay, but Ricky heard enough. He heard how upset Flo was that someone stole the medicine cabinet. I don't know if they know that Ricky did it. I don't think they do. When Ricky has finished working on the car, I think he's going to invite Skip over and talk about the medicine cabinet. And Buddy is here waiting for Dimitri. There he is. I'm also going to give him a makeover real quick. Wait, what are his traits? Never nude, slob, vehicle enthusiast and virtuoso. He's a slob, so maybe this hair is a little too neat. 
I'm going to give him this monolith eye makeup. It's kind of difficult to match it to his skin, especially with his hair. <laughs> he has a little bit more money than uh, our own household, so I can dress him up a little bit more fancy. And then his outerwear real quick. Okay, that's good. Charlotte Fell. I've never seen her before. He can socialize with her friendly. And then Ricky is going to go for a walk with Skip, I think. I actually added a house. This is the abandoned version of the now and then manor from the sim store. It's really cool and I think this is somewhere where they can talk in private. Ooh, and there's also space rock here. No one lives here, but I can open it up and then we can take a look inside. Okay, so the door is open. <laughs> We're free to come in. There are bugs on the floor. So the windows are broken and they are boarded up. There's also a little room here. I really like how there are pieces from the roof that have fallen on the onto the floor. You can see the floor is disappearing in some spaces, which is really cool. Here is what I think was the living room. There are plants growing inside. This is very overgrown and the painting has fallen on the floor. The roof is broken again. Here's the bathroom, also very overgrown. And the porcelain is cracked. Here is also an overgrown area and it's just, it looks broken. Here is a bedroom and here's another bedroom. This one is really creepy to me for some reason. And here, oh, the top is broken. And there's a door here. That's, uh, that's kind of dark actually. It's not sketchy at all to meet up here. <laughs> but Ricky is going to confess. <laughs> oh, you should console him some more. And also cheer him up. And I think that Skip would understand Ricky because he is also struggling. His family is also struggling with not having a lot of money. So I think he would be sympathetic. And Ricky's like, thanks, you're so understanding. And now that we're here, I do want him to swipe something. Oh, do you need to wear your pajamas? <laughs> For committing crimes? I feel like I didn't explain this well while I was playing, but I think that Skip is on board with Ricky stealing, but he does suggest to Ricky that he should only steal from people who are already very wealthy and maybe also people who are just bad people basically. As long as Ricky does that, does it in a more ethical way if that makes sense, Skip can get behind that. Not ethical as in legal, <laughs> it's still very bad to steal, but I hope it kind of makes sense. So as they're talking about it more, Ricky decides that he goes to the source of his family's money problems, which is Malcolm Landgrab. Wow, it looks like Malcolm has finally started building his horse stables. His horses have been roaming around without a proper stable. And now in winter, he's finally getting to building it. So yeah, I think maybe there are some things here that we can swipe. And that's why their funds are so high. Because I needed money to build this. But I'll look back in the footage and then I'll change it again. To see how much they actually have. Don't worry, um, I'm not going to cheat their money up. Even though I did. <laughs> I want to see what the rest of them are doing. You really need to pee and you're cold, you're freezing. And buddy, he's feeling humiliated from losing a fight. Who did he fight? Oh, it was probably... Um, no, it's the bartender. <laughs> uh, how would they know though? It sucks that I don't know who he had a fight with. Um, I'm going to say no, I can always scold him later. Look at the stable and look at... 
where the attention went to first. He even put on his holiday lights and he got this big statue and he didn't even finish the roof. So he cares more about how everything looks than about the actual animals. I hope Malcolm doesn't come home. He's not home right now. That horse scared me. <laughs> okay, this is going to be the last thing that I'm going to have him steal. And then go home. We have not been caught, luckily. He does have a really nice view of the town, though. Oh, there's Ricky. <laughs> there he goes. Oh, and he crossed Malcolm's path, I believe. Because Ricky is here. And then this is Malcolm's car, right? There he is. I don't like that he saw Ricky, but maybe Ricky just went to... He went here to the coffee house. Nothing to worry about. That's going to be it for today's episode. It was a bit messy, but I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye everybody!